Hello everyone, yes, welcome back to The Crowd Goes Wild. We've actually calmed down a little bit now after our, our wonderful Black Ooh. Life Cross experience. Let me hand. But, did you know we have a men's team? They're called the All Blacks. <laughs> <laughs> They Cheeky. also play rugby, but not here. They're currently overseas. They got visas and passports. Anyway, they got a big fright in Edinburgh overnight, and it wasn't because they're outside a chippy and almost got stabbed. It was from the mainly <laughs> haunted buildings as well, but from a team, not only that, but ghostly white Scottish men. Oh. Ooh. And lilac. <laughs> Ah, uh, but Sam Whitelock and the boys said, what did they say? You may take the lead, but you will never take our freedom! freedom! Um, ah, Murrayfield, what a magical place. A place where Scotland won the anthem again. He loved it. But with two early tries, the All Blacks were on song. Barrett sends a kick out. Here's a chance for Talia. He's in. In his first test match, Mark Talia scores. It went from Bodhi Wong Kenobi to Leia. Scotland had their own Jedi, Stuart Hogg. Cuts through the middle from Hogg. Puts the chip ahead. He's got the speed. The ball took a wicked bounce, but it was a penalty try because Anton impeded Hogg and he was off to the naughty chair for 10. A man down is probably a bad time to throw an intercept, but this team doesn't play by the rules, man. Darcy Graham, Caleb Clark comes at him, can't stop him, oh, and Graham's in. The crowd are going wild. Thanks for the shout out, Kane Hames. Scotland almost scored again in the same place, David. The home side took the lead and threatened to score again, but Anton Leonard Brown took this turnover and totally redeemed himself. Another saving penalty. Bodie's cross kick radar was a bit off, but here's your turning point, people. This knock on was ruled deliberate and a yellow card offence. Bit harsh, in my opinion, but hey, it was time for the Rico and Talaya show. That the game is there to be taken. They get it. All Blacks win, here's your man of the match, Dalton Papali with Goldie. Last week we knew we knew we set the standard and I think this week, you know, we got the best of Scotland and you know we got out of that one with a few scratches and we got on top, but you know we just gotta keep playing our best footy. And how about the man of the moment, Mark Evander Talea? Two on debut, baby. Last week Foz was just saying like just be ready, like you know, a chance to compete there for you, not like, sweet. And, and yeah, like I said, I was kinda surprised when I got the call, so Grateful for it, yeah. Yeah, Messi represent. James McConey, West Side for Life. <laughs> there you go, we beat Scotland, we survived and advanced is what we do in the Northern Tour. Josh Cronfow joins us on the bench. Josh, what did you make of the All Blacks performance? Wait, 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 first things first. The jacket? What's the yeah, Talk us through the, the jacket. The jacket. Dude, I, look, you guys wear jackets every week. Yeah. And I, I thought, I don't beautiful. get the chance to wear the jacket, well, so I'm going to wear something beautiful. I, I don't like... want to wear your crap. I want to wear something beautiful and I want to celebrate the girls. Gonna... So I want to look beautiful. You, you look great. Sweetie? You look good. Is that, is that right with you? Mate? I, I love it. I love it. Perfect. What's yeah. it made out of? It's velvet, you idiot. Oh, I couldn't see it from here. <laughs> sorry, mate. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe I am. Yeah, maybe. Uh, rugby, yeah, right. What do you make of it? Oh, uh, look, I, when I, that first uh, 14 points by the All Blacks, I thought, man, they, these guys are going to put like 70 points on them. They just look so amazing. And then yellow card, and right wall reversal. It, it, I was stunned by the whole game. It just, the way it patterned out, and we just never got our wheels going again after that. I, like, we were definitively a better team, but as soon as the Scotland got the gander up, we just couldn't get a break. And the, the referee, oh, I'm oh, sorry, I struggled with most of his calls during that game, most of them. You know, I, I've always struggled with referees. I feel like all my all my frustrations are vin, uh, vil, vil, vindicated. Vindicated. <laughs> vindicated. Validated. Like, I mean, the yellow card that the Scotland got, that, that was mind-blowing. How can you uh, penalise someone with their eyes closed? I mean, you shouldn't tackle with your eyes closed, but it's kind of hard to, you know, catch, you know, even hit a ball with your eyes closed, isn't it? Now... What, I mean, I'm instantly looking ahead to England now. Out of, out of 
the, these, these test matches and Jamie Joseph said that he was preparing his team for a much tougher opposition in England and they got pretty much smoked for most of the yeah. game until the end they got some tries. Yeah, but but what does England have now coming into this game? Oh, there's a little bit of kudos. I mean, Japan didn't play as well as they did against us. Mm. There's, there's no way. Like, they, they were dropping the ball cold at different points. Uh, and England were a really big side. And, like, you know, it's not very often in international footy you look at two sides on telly and you go, well, that's a big side and that's a small side, mm. you know. And that they looked so much bigger, you know. They had bloody fullbacks that were six foot six and looked like locks and... Brody is coming back for his 100th for the All Blacks which as well. Awesome. Which Most likely will be named. Do you yep. think we'll beat them at Twickenham? Oh, look, uh, I, I said right at the start, when you first got me on the show here, that I think we're going to go through and win all three. I, don't, I think it'll be just about getting the preparation right for each game. And it isn't about winning perfectly. It's just getting the job done. The other big game for New Zealanders, the All Blacks 15, lost to the Barbars, coached by Razor. You played in a few. Oh, I love the Barbars. Like I, I can remember one tour with the Barbars. We had uh, three game remember? tour. Do you can yeah, remember three game tour. tour. <laughs> and of the six days on tour with them, yeah, I was pissed for seven of them. So, <laughs> um, my first game, uh, different they, era. I got an early call up to come across from uh, Wales because we just played in the, the Heineken Cup final. And I've you were playing for Leicester. I was playing for Leicester, yep. and I've been drinking. Uh, till five o'clock in the morning, and I left the boys uh, after they started cheer jousting at that time in the morning. Yep. And yep. Uh, I thought, you morons. And then I got a phone call two hours later to say, uh, can you come over? Um, one of the boys' fathers um, passed away, so we need someone to go on the bench. Turned up, I was pissed when I turned up. <laughs> And this is a um, good story. Cooper Vanessi went down yeah, injured a... within the first two minutes. Oh. And so I had to come on, played the whole game. MVP and even. Got, and no, I didn't MVP that. They said they would have given it to me if I played the whole game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ripped off. Ripped off. <laughs> what, were, what was it like going from ruck to right? Where you go, did you, uh, you oh, look, he, but you, what you've got to understand is, uh, you know, I was playing, uh, there was Teichman. You know, you Gary list all the, yeah, you list all the, all the names South of that Africa, period eh? from Australia, South Africa, and then chuck in a whole lot of newbies from England and Scotland. Like, they ended up playing for their countries after we beat, we beat Wales, we beat Scotland, and we beat England. And, um, and it was a big coup. And um, it was fantastic. But you get under the post and you'd be down by two tries, and it could be any one of the leader, leadership group would go, oh, come on, we need to do this, this, and this, and then we're going to get back in the game. Sure enough, for the next five minutes, we'd do exactly what everybody had said, switch in, and then all the pissed drunk ones would just go back to... <laughs> nice. Yeah. Speaking of... Um, I know, I yeah. know, I know. But I, I don't think you'd do it in these days. No, you can't, Josh. You can't. Speaking of which... Well, yeah, kind of. Black <laughs> We need to talk about the black yeah. Oh, yeah, I can. You I'll loved it? Talk about them. I, like, that was an exciting game. That was like... I, you know, I, I watched it from home. I, 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 enjoy, I, I enjoy watching the game with not other people in my face, you know, like, which happens at, at, at live footy. And I can yell at the TV and abuse things without anyone getting upset. So, um, but it was such a fantastic game. The energy was so crazy. I felt like England had New Zealand's number yeah. for most of that game. They have mostly everyone's number. And, well, they, well they're, they're a good side. Yeah. And, again, they're, they're, they're a bigger-looking side as well across the board. And they were kind of dominating a lot of uh, areas of the game, but we just had this crazy energy. We're a team of destiny. Oh, we, we were in a lot of ways. There they, they, they was a fanatic sort of way to style of playing, you know, and that energy, you know, that Kendra Cox edge. Her, it's her energy. She's always like when she talked in the speech afterwards, and she was like 100 miles an hour, telling, getting everything she wanted across to everybody in New Zealand, and it's fantastic. And I'm loving that. Yeah. That's how the Kiwis, you know, the Black Ferns play. They and, play that that way. And they, but like, for example, Ruby Tui had, had the crowd in the palm of her hand post match. Oh. Like the crowd that they attract to their games is different to the crowd that you get when you you are playing. Oh. And the staunch rugby crowd, like, I remember working for New Zealand Rugby on the pitch doing the, the big screen stuff, mm. and they had a concerted effort to try and get everyone to sing Tu Te Na Iwi. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was supposed to be on the mic getting them to go, and I was trying my best, <laughs> and it just did not resonate. They, the rugby audience didn't care. Ruby Tui, 
the audience is different. They're just uh, more into but, the uh, rugby. But, 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 but no, everything's different about the girls. Ruby Tui yeah. tries, mate. But they had to put the lyrics up on the screen. Yeah, but and but I'm but not it, Ruby Tui, obviously. Like the whole the whole way that uh, the girls approach rugby and the guys approach rugby is so different. You know, like the changing room before a game, for instance. The boys won't, once they get on the bus, they've had a team meeting, get on the bus, it's just closed down, headphones, no one's talking much. And you get in, you walk in to the, uh, into, the, into where they're about to warm up and, and, get, and they find their cubicles, there's still no chat. Mm. Like, it, it's so quiet. Complete opposite with the girls. Whoever's running the boom box will come in, go down in the middle, party's on! <laughs> till they finish the game. Yeah. And, and then, and is it wrong? Well, they've got a higher winning record than the All Blacks, yeah, so maybe it isn't. But they haven't been constrained by a historical way of preparing for a game. But also, they haven't been burned. They haven't been, yeah. yeah. They haven't been burned, and that is the beautiful thing. Yeah. And that sh they should be protected at all costs. Yeah. And when I say burned, I mean they haven't, they haven't had to go through what the All Blacks, say, for instance, this year have gone through with the public yeah. and the coaching change that everybody won and never eventuated. Like, that's the beautiful thing about the Black Ferns. It is so precious. We must keep this in a, like a little bubble and keep it and protect it. But also, to counter that a little bit, they did go through a little bit last year after that Northern Tour. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. They failed to yeah. hurt. They failed to hurt. But, yeah. they, 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 but True. No, true. Things Not were put in place, effect. whether it was change of coaching or whatever, were put in place for them to be successful. Yeah, that's and, beautiful. And, and to be honest, the team has done wonderfully well to get to where they've done. Like, that was a hard win, and it was an incredible win. And even that, that last moment of the game, if you'd gone with any other line out, they, they decided to make the right decision. They went up, and they put the challenge on. We're going up! And they binned it. Because if they'd got the ball down, it would have been another try.